We do a bunch of these uh, every season. The city of Pasadena offers uh, sky-worn weather spotter training. These classes are free. Every citizen should know something about the weather. Believe it or not, one inch of rain will fill that tuba. Every weather service office in the country has a sky-worn group. They're for anybody. You don't have to work in police, fire, EMS. So I'll be going over what the National Weather Service does, as well as the role that you guys as spotters can play. We issue severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings, and we need to know what people are actually seeing. Uh, we have a weather radar we can look at. But they can't always show you what's at the bottom 100 feet on the ground, so they have us spotters call it in and relay the report of a tornado, hail, flooding, things like that. Tornado is by, defined by if there's rotation on the ground. The radar has some limitations. And these spotters really enable us to issue quality warnings. If you see any hail of any size, we want you to report that to us. If it's hail, the size of the hail, uh, if it's a tornado, you know, they're telling us exactly what a tornado is. Let's look at some examples. Our focus is mostly on large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes, and flooding for that matter. If you start seeing water covering over roadways, let us know. We are prone to seeing uh, flooding events, but also severe weather. Tornadoes are fairly common within the city of Pasadena, as well as other thunderstorms and, and developing inclement weather. We'll also tell, talk about what you can tell by looking at a storm. Without the spotter information, we don't know for sure what's going on. They show you what to look for, what types of clouds, uh, formations, what type of hail. Whether it's severe, whether it may have high winds, and also how to identify funnel clouds and tornadoes. Ike was my first hurricane. I've been through plenty of tropical storms here, uh, and I've seen numerous funnels and hail uh, in this area. We're always looking for more spotters, and those that we have, we really encourage them to call us. A good spotter, just someone that's interested in the weather and interested in helping their communities. This will be my sixth year doing this, and I always come back uh, to get recertified because uh, typically the National Weather Service adds new things in each session. Skywarn spotters are critical for the Weather Service to do their job well, for issuing warnings, for the protection of life and property. Many of them that we see are ham radio operators, those volunteer radio operators uh, through the amateur radio system. It's about a two and a half hour training session. Once you've done that, you're in. You're a Skywarn spotter. They see those indicators. They know what to look for, what to report, what we're looking for in those reports, and just uh, additional sets of eyes out when the inclement weather develops. You come to this training, you learn a little bit more about the weather, and you can help us out a lot by enabling us to issue good warnings.